Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Oh, hi, Bennett. Um, Bennett. Hi. Hi. What the fish was that? Okay. Build the trials. 681. Where? 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 Huh? I love you f for sure. Stop leaving me on red. Oh. Uh oh, she's angry. Let's write something. Hey. Wait, wait, why, 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 what? Hey, you do the same. Don't come here out on this. And for fish sake, stop using this icon and username. I'm not role playing with you. Did you just do an error right there? You never catch a break, huh? More importantly, how long do you plan to provoke the tenants for attention until they actually kill you? Uh, forever, probably. Or how long my lifespan lasts? How old am I, actually? Five. Actually, actually three. What? Oh, well, here we go. Miss Wolfshire. I'm sorry for lecturing you, but... I spent too many spare vessels. The lesson might be greatly shortened if... Oh. You kill yourself with a toothbrush. Okay, I I want to ask how? Like, how are you get? I mean, I mean, I mean... <laughs> a toothbrush is for cleaning your teeth and not for for, for cleaning your, your brain to mess it up to it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. The fish is with this music! Aiden. Assuming to get another top of his. Aiden, Aiden. What are you up to? Taxidermy me again? Don't you get tired of it? He doesn't write his bottomless eyes fixated on the corpse table. Aiden, talk to me. Or I'll poke out your eyes. True to my words, I poke his eye. The finger disappears in Aiden's eyes, so it, making a gushing sound. He pays it no mind. Hey, when are you going to switch back to your butler form? You're no fun when you're like this. At all. Aiden continues working. I sit on the table and watch him for some time. can remember when I met Aiden. Just like with the rest, it's as if the memory of him was there all along. The memory that went like we captured and brainwashed him into being our butler. Which apparently was my idea. But I never really got along with anyone in this place. Let alone have them go along with my ideas. The oldest memory I have is of lo locking myself in a laboratory for three days terrified of the workers. Ever since they learned I was unable to die, they wanted to have me as a lab rat for their experiments. Ain was the one to talk them out of it. After all, he was brainwashed into having common sense. Or whatever it was. Okay, but as the time went by, he became more and more unstable. Sparring further into insanity with every passing day. And look at him now, scavenging my former bodies to make yours out of him. Ah! What? It became no different from everyone else, Miss Wilshire. You shouldn't fall asleep here. Ah! <gasps> Hayden! Hi! Hi! My, I encircle my arms around his neck and in an impromptu hug. I'm happy you're delighted to see me, but look at the time. You'll be late to school at this rate. Schools, school, who cares? Play with me. Now, no, this isn't the right time for games, my dear. Come on, let's go arrange the food in the fridge for something. You'll love that stuff, don't you? It will be fun. In. Oh, well, 
Whatever. Bye, Aiden. I kind of feel sad for everybody. Oh, what are you celebrating? Um, uh-oh, it's your dad. It's a surprise party. Yeah, surprise party. Ah, <laughs> I love surprises. Mind pouring me a drink? Sure. Oh, you went so far as to frame my photo with black ribbons. My favorite color is white, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Somebody hide that. <laughs> no, no. Keep it. <sniffs> Truly delicious. Well then, I'll be off. Keep on partying. Ben, didn't you tell us she's dead for real? Maybe I just wanted to have a party. Why did I choose to believe him in the first place? So, uh, whose corpse is lying in the coffin? Please don't tell me you stole that from Uncle's morgue. Bridges are fa rather fascinating, are they? Yes, they are. I celebrate birthdays once a year when you can have death days almost every year. Ah, huh, he's high on soap again. Maybe this is... Maybe this whole ordeal is this, this way of apologizing. It's okay, Ben. It's my fault for provoking you. If you try to warm burgers, they melt in your mouth. Didn't expect a coherent response when he's like this, but it's funny for a way. Uh, enjoy your drinks, I guess. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, I, I want to do. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, working at home. That's what I needed. I got the metal bed. I do. I'm scared for the metal bed. Doctor. Hmm. The party. I wonder what she's doing. Aiden wasn't there too, but. Okay. It's... Yeah. Which means that the secret. But yes. It's. If you had to send the... down the ladder. What does this mean? And I saw something oh, I shouldn't have. Now we're going to laboratory. I mean, I think we're not. Planet Hum of Machines. And the tanks with the clones of Felix, Sonica, floating inside. What? Someone comes out of the shadows. I can only assume it's the doctor himself. Hey, Dr. Huxley. What is the meaning of this? Ah, looks like you discovered my personal laboratory. And you know what this area is? Uh, don't you know that this area is off limits? <laughs> you left the door open yourself. Well, isn't it unfortunate? If you try to harm me, my soul leader will get locked load into a new vessel. And I'll be coming here again and again until I get an answer. My mind. How persistent. How come a puppet like you knows this much? Hey, don't change the subject. <laughs> Aren't you sure? The story behind this is quite simple. As you may know, I'm a genius surgeon who's far ahead of my peers. However, you see, I'm getting old. Not new, it's not news to me that my dementia is progressing with rapid speed. And unfortunately, it's not something I can cut out with a scalpel. Are you again again? Isn't it obvious at this point? When I noticed the changes in my mental processes, I found myself in need of a replacement. I proposed the project to my team, and they were excited to start working on it. That's how Felix Honecker came to be. Named after a character in my favorite novel. In a way, even his research mirrors that very book. Have you ever heard of Ice Nine? No, and I freaking don't care. Does Felix know about this? No, 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 he thinks his parents are on the barrier. Too busy genetically modifying human appendixes for mass production. The recent research has shown that it's rather nutritious, you see. 
It's said to serve as an even more nutritious breakfast than scrambled human fetuses. You? Ugh, I didn't need to hear that part. My nephew is extremely motivated, don't you think? All because he wants to be like me. Just like he was designed to become. I'm gonna come. No, you won't. You'll have an existential crisis and stop functioning properly. In the worst case scenario, I'll have to replace him with a more capable asset. Although his replacement is inevitably at some point. None of the Hanukkahs have lived for longer than two years so far. Don't worry not, our research has shown that females have a longer life than males do. It's a matter of time until Felix becomes a Felicia. I see, I see, you have it all arranged. Now what should I do? I would rather leave. Actually leaving wasn't an option. Okay! I gripped my battle bar harder. Let's crush them all. What are you? Get away from them. Dad. Monster. Say, say, what will you do now? Drug me? Dissect me? Torture me? Nothing will work. Here I go. Strike. Stop it. I'll leave you with one. Monster. Well, I have to. Monica's fall out and I crushed their heads one by one. <laughs> I wish I could see your face right now. Absolute fool. These took years to incu incubate. incubate. Do you understand that it will all be for naught if the current Felix Sonica dies? And... Looks like you have no choice but to value him, no? See you later, Dr. Huxley. Oh, I back up, oblivious to the heap of corpses I've left behind. Okay. <sighs> oh, I don't feel like going to class today. Oh, Ch hey, little Shire, Tyler. Do you plan on skipping class again? <laughs> no way, you liar. Do you know what happened to Miss Warhol? She isn't coming to school anymore. You do know, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Tyler. Aren't you worried about your friend? Eh? But we are not friends. Huh? You know? Henry's my stalker. Well, I gotta go. See you. See you, classroom. Where did Charles come? Maybe the library? I am so confused. Oh, so this is where you were hiding. I was just breathing heavily. His eyes fixated on the floor. A panic attack? Really? Sorry, give me a moment. It's fine. Here, I'll pet your head. I'll use this C. Sit like this for a while. So, how was your day been, Mrs. Wolfshire? Been socializing? Well, sort of. By the way, there's something I've noticed. What is it? Gals? You're afraid of Scarlet Island? Excuse me, what? No, no, no. What gave you that idea? Whenever she's here, you're never around. You're scared shitless. Say, why is that? Stop with the nonsense. I'm not afraid of a little girl. But you are. And I will find out why. Even if it's if it isn't fear, there must be a reason to keep a, you keep avoiding her. Just doesn't answer. Well, there's no help on it. I still have some time before the execution hour. I need to ask around the school about the unusual 
Could be trusting us something, but he isn't better than telling. Maybe I can get him to recover by force later. So, are you going to stay here? I think I have a bit of a headache. A lot of things on my mind lately. So, I'm going to rest in the infirmary, if you don't mind. Sure, go on ahead. I want to run for a bit. I don't use Link. Oh, I've heard that someone from my your class bought a large amount of Link the other day. Talk about it. Hmm. Oh, you came to buy the goods? No way. Come on, I gave you one of those for free. I'm a big fan. Aw, what an honor. So, has anyone bought a lot of this stuff lately? Yes. But my mouth is still shut. That's our privacy policy. Hmm, we'll see about it. I bring out this small syringe and inject the contents into this poison. Oops, looks like someone's caught the white flu. Stage one. A lapse of brain activity. Just a matter of weeks until stage two. Absolute obedience. Do I want to ask? How's your day? How was your day? And linked with you against your will? That's a violation of privacy. Just using a link is a violation of privacy on its own, don't you think? Your link related cases? I don't know, everyone's using it. Carl seems to be sleeping. Hmm. I lean in closer, grabbing his shoulders. The boy's eyes assemble. Oh, if it isn't Miss Wolfshire. Step well, Mr. C. Mm hmm. If you like joining me, it'll restore your SPB a bit. Unnecessary. I've dealt with all the socialization participants. Support the system, anyway. Ah, is that so? So, no RPG in this RPG Maker game? What about the puzzles on this level? Denied, destroyed, annihilated. Oh god, this story is a disaster. God damn it, Charles. I don't need to do to do free fetch quests and solve a math problem to open a door. Huh? Ah, you may have a point. Miss Wilfshire, an avid hater of puzzle games and class attendance is always well rested, huh? Then why not simply keep me company? Or is it not enough of a reason to stay? <laughs> Just has no friends. Neither does Jalad. Jalad. Hmm, at a point. Okay, you win. Oh, he's cute. Some time passes. So what is that been bothering you? Uh, well, how do I say this? I found out that there's an imposter pretending to be me in, this, uh, in the house. Imposter? How's that possible? That's pretty sus, don't you think? Isn't it in the rules that no one can enter or leave the house? That's right. These statements stay true. I fear that this entity is not... is no outsider. And it is rather powerful. As if... as... I have told you before, I'm an observer in this world. Brother man, I am not omnipotent. I can interfere to a degree, but there's only so much I can do in borrowed vessels. That entity, however, only pretends to be a bystander. He is fully capable of shapeshifting and manipulating to uh, stories in a way it finds fitting. I'm brother man. Adding elements that weren't supposed to exist. Like what, portals to another world? That could be an example. I caught a glimpse of it only once, but I wonder if it's plotting or something malicious. Hey, why worry? So what if our world gets wrecked? Fully aware that you're anticipating, anticipating the destruction of the house. But please, have some sympathy. My image is on the line here. Yeah, yeah, I totally feel. Image is everything. 
Here, have a pity kick in the butt. Ow. Well then, isn't it time for you to go home? I don't want to. Why, sir? Too comfortable? You think too highly of yourself, Charles. Aw. The tenants hate me. They say they don't, but I know how it actually is. Felix is afraid of me. The others act like I don't exist. Only Aiden is on my side, but he was brainwashed into it. Mm -hmm. I see. Aren't they supposed to be the friendly units, though? Friendly? Just what part of those nutcases is friendly? 56 of my deaths in the house were their fault, and only 23 out of those cases were purely accidental. Please don't tell me you're counting the... No, never mind. More importantly, don't you think you brought it upon yourself? Has it occurred to you that you're hurting others? What if I don't pick on them? They'll ignore me altogether. I see. The moment you see others have fun, you resort to destructive behavior. Because you're not part a part of it. Am I right? I get up and take my bag. To be entirely honest, I feel like my social battery points just dropped to zero from talking to you. Come on, can we just enjoy a profound discussion? Usually it feels more like monogram. See you later, Charles. Bye bye. Oh my, look at the hour. I have to get ready for our showtime. Oh boy. Who will it be this time? I feel like there's too many people around you. I kinda. Don't have a long time, feeling sick. Evil solution has a solution just for you. Vacuum cleaner pro, you can clear your large areas of free of sentient. Hey, vacuum cleaner to clean literally the egg you to suck up a human. What the fish is happening with the achievements here? Yeah, this fucking supposed by pisses him. Hey, everyone. Oh, no. Today's episode is a special. Meet our special guest, Henrietta Warhol. She can't speak right now, but if she could, I'm pretty sure she'd be greeting you. Did you know? Miss Warhol here is a very bad person. Nobody likes her, ever. Well, I, 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 I kind of like her now. Wait, let me read some of our audience's letters around. I knew I was right to hate Anne from the start. It's hard to sympathize with her tragic backstory. We'll share our lover 34 at 16. Wow, she can go. Sorry, Anne. I have no other choice. Her substance is crying for help. Hush, hush, it's going to be okay. Well then, what are we going to do to her? That's all. It was you all who voted for her perception per of the world. Come on, start voting now. Three, two, one. Well, 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 let's see. Oh, looks like everyone wants you to. Oh, hey, hey, this area is off limits. Uh, Miss Warhol, get out of here. My deepest apologies. We're stopping the broadcast. This shit show ends now. Understandable. Also, how? Huh? Mm -hmm.